Welcome to the channel. Today is going to be a must watch video for everyone that uses Home Assistant. But why? Well, in less than 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how to use AI to build Home Assistant automations. So forget about those videos where someone teaches you a specific super smart automation. Now you can do it yourself. Yes, I'm putting myself out of a job. Remember that at the start of 2025, Mark Zuckerberg said that AI would be replacing software engineers and that it would be happening this year. Well, it's happening. So get on board and ride the wave. So how do we do this? Let's dive on in. Automations basically have three sections. Let's look at how they are constructed. Open Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Automations and Scenes. Press Create Automation in the bottom right hand corner. Now select Create Automation. Here you can see the three sections of when, which is the trigger, and if, which is the condition that must be met, and the then do, which is the action to be performed when the automation is triggered, and all of the conditions are met. Now we're going to need to be very specific in relation to the entities that AI will be using. Open up a second tab and browse to Home Assistant again. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Now select Devices from the top menu. We'll be using this screen to find out the entities that we'll need to use to advise AI to allow it to create the automations. And finally, we'll need an AI to create the automations. Now I'll be using ChatGPT, but you can use any large language model such as DeepSeek or any other AI. Just remember, the more complex the AI or the more it has to be trained on the Home Assistant, the more accurate the automations will be straight out of the AI. Now I'll be demonstrating this for two scenarios of increasing complexity, but you can extend this to templates, blueprints, scripts, scenes, or any other part of Home Assistant. Let us know in the comments your favorite AI built automation. Now let's start simple and build the complexity. One of the first automations people start with is when the motion is detected, it will turn on a light. We'll add a condition that it must be after 15 minutes before sunset and 15 minutes after sunrise. To have AI automate this, open ChatGPT in a half window and Home Assistant in the other half. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services, Devices. Remember that we need to define the trigger, condition and action. For the trigger, we'll need the entity of the motion sensor. For the condition, it must be 15 minutes before sunset and 15 minutes after sunrise. And for the action, we'll turn the light on for which we'll need the entity for the light switch. Let's add an additional criteria that the light switch will turn off after 10 minutes if motion is not detected. Copy the prompt from the description below and paste it into the ChatGPT window. Now, before we can press enter, we need to populate the entities. In the Home Assistant window, search for and select the motion sensor. Select the motion entity. Press the cog in the top right hand corner. Copy the entity by pressing the copy icon. Move back to your ChatGPT window. Replace the XXX with the entity ID. Now we need to repeat this exercise for the light. When it's completed, press the arrow up button in the ChatGPT window. ChatGPT will now create the YAML code for our automation. ChatGPT will even give you a breakdown of the code that it has created. Now press copy in the top right hand corner. Let's go and create the automation. Switch back to your Home Assistant window. Navigate to Settings. Automations. Press Create Automation in the bottom right hand corner. Press Create New Automation. Now press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Select Edit in YAML. Highlight the code and press Delete. Now paste the code that you just copied. Press Save and press Rename. Now let's see what the code looks like in Visual Studio Editor. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Select Edit in Visual Editor. Now the sun is still above the horizon when I'm recording this. So let's disable that condition and test. Expand out the condition. Press the three dots to the right. Select disable. The condition will now not apply. Now press save. Now let's test by moving something in front of the motion sensor and see if the lights turn on. The motion sensor was triggered and the lights have successfully turned on. Success and we didn't code anything. Better still, if you don't like the way that the AI generated the code and you'd like to refine it, you can tell the AI as such. 
In this case, I'd like the AI to generate this with trigger IDs, which is a way of identifying each of the different states, and press generate. The AI will use the basic fundamentals of the AI generated code, and now it will insert trigger IDs into the code. Once completed, press copy. Move back into your Home Assistant window. Press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Press edit in YAML. Select the code. Press delete. Paste the newly copied code. Press save. Now press the three dots in the top right hand corner and select edit in visual editor. Now move in front of the motion sensor. And once again, the motion is triggered. However, this time we're using trigger IDs. You can continue to refine your code by using the AI and inserting in additional refinements and continue to do this until you are happy with the results. In the second scenario, the trigger will be that a person has been detected at the Rio Link video doorbell, linked to that review in the pop-up above. There will be no conditions, and the action will be that a snapshot will be taken, and save that image to a location, then announce on the study echo that there is somebody at the front door. Then the image along with a message of that person that was being detected at the door will be sent to my iPhone. Now that's a lot going on, so can the AI handle this? If you're following along, copy the prompt from the description below and paste it into the AI chat window. The prompt is similar to our first scenario and is self-explanatory. However, this time we've introduced a few more concepts. To save time, I've already sourced the entity values and inserted them into the prompt. The first new concept is that we're using a service of a camera snapshot to take a picture and save this to a predetermined file called doorbell underscore snapshot dot jpg. Then we're using another service of Notify to make an announcement on an Amazon Alexa. Now you will need to have the Alexa Media Player integration loaded to be able to do this. If not, then the link is in the pop-up above. This will work equally as well with Google Assistant. And finally, we'll be calling another service to Notify to send that stored picture to my mobile phone. Press the arrow up button on the ChatGPT. Once finished, Press copy in the YAML window at the top right. Navigate to your Home Assistant Automation tab. Press Create Automation and press Create New Automation. Now press the three dots in the top right hand corner and select Edit in YAML. Highlight the YAML code and delete. Now paste in the code that you just copied. Move back to your ChatGPT window and scroll down. ChatGPT has provided some notes based on the code. We need to make sure that these are being followed. The Rio Link battery doorbell does support fluent snapshots. Replace the your HA URL with your IP address. I have got notify.alexa underscore media installed, which is the Amazon Alexa media player integration. Likewise, Paul's underscore iPhone is set up in Home Assistant. Now press save and press rename. Now press the three dots in the top right hand corner and move back into visual editor. Now through the magic of YouTube, I'll walk in front of the video doorbell. The announcement comes through that someone has been detected at the front door. A person has been detected at the front door. A JPEG has been created for doorbell underscore snapshot. And a media rich message has been sent through to my iPhone with a message that there is somebody at the front door and a picture. So that's AI building automations from simple English commands with a dash of assistance from you to provide the relevant entities. Now this is the start of the journey. Try it out and let us know in the comments how your AI generated automations work out. Even if it doesn't get it right the first time, remember you can always refine through the AI and tell it the issues and it will dynamically refine the YAML code for you. It's a scary future or an amazing future ahead. Either way, get on board and enjoy the benefits. Well, until the AI figures out that we are the issue and debugs humans out of the code. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want to have access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a channel member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've taught you how to create your own AI generated automations, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.